Hello everyone. Once again, this is Hermelinda Ruiz, your science teacher for a while. Before we start, please click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will discuss about changes in matter. Materials undergo changes, and these changes can be categorized into physical change and chemical change. Let us first discuss what is physical change. A physical change is the change in the form and appearance of a material, but its composition remains the same. These are the examples of physical change. Chopping of wood. Chopping of fruits and vegetables. Melting of an ice. Other examples of physical change are cutting paper, burning candle, breaking a glass, melting an ice cream and drying of fish and clothes. How about chemical change? In chemical change, a material changes in form and composition. A new product is formed and the original material can no longer be identified. These are the examples of chemical change. Burning of wood, Fireworks, rot and banana. Other examples of chemical change are cooking, rotting of fruits, decaying of leaves, and exploding dynamite. Oxygen plays an important role in the burning process or combustion. Without oxygen, burning will not take place since oxygen supports combustion. The presence or lack of oxygen plays an important role in chemical change. The rate of food is foliage is affected by the amount of oxygen that reacts with it. More exposure to oxygen can cause faster food spoilage. Food must be covered tightly to slow down its spoilage rate. Now, how can we say that a chemical change occurred? There are evidences of chemical change. We have formation of a new product, formation of gas, release or absorption of heat, and formation of a precipitate. So, in formation of a new product, when a nail is exposed to oxygen and water, Rust starts to form on its surface. This situation shows oxidation, a chemical reaction that is aided by oxygen. Once a new product is formed, the original material is unidentifiable. In formation of gas, this evidence usually coincides with the formation of a new product. Formation of gas indicates a change in composition. For example, when a material is burning, Gas in the form of a smoke is released together with the formation of ashes. Also, when baking soda is mixed with vinegar, bubbles are formed as the baking soda starts to curdle or form lumps. Release or absorption of heat. There are some instances where in chemical change results to the sudden heating or cooling of a material that underwent chemical change. For example, when a metal is soaked in an acid, heat is released as the metal starts to corrode or wear away due to the acid strength. Formation of a precipitate Aside from the foul odor that a milk releases when it is spoils, solid particles also form at the bottom of the container. The solid particles are called precipitate. Precipitation occurs after a chemical change takes place. Have you learned something? Can you answer these questions? 
What are the kinds of changes in matter? The kinds of changes in matter are physical change and chemical change. How do we distinguish between physical change and chemical change? Physical change is the change in the form and appearance of a material, but its composition remains the same. While in chemical change, a material changes in form and composition, and a new product is formed, but the original material can no longer be identified. What are the evidences of chemical change? The evidences of chemical change are formation of a new product, formation of gas, release or absorption of heat, and formation of a precipitate. I hope you learned something from this video. This is Teacher Hermie. Please keep on watching. Click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.